Zaya, what did you see on the inbound pass and back in your football days, did you ever <laughs> intercept one like that? Yeah, um, really, it took me back to football, actually, just moving my feet. And um, I kind of knew where she wanted to go with the ball. And once I heard her say, lob it up, I just had to go get it. So I knew what I was going to do. Yeah, Leah, how were you able to kind of take over in the fourth quarter there? Um, I think you scored six straight points at one point. Um, I really just try to focus on like things I can do better, like without directly touching the ball. Like I really just focused on going it, rebound, and timing it, because um, they did a great job of crashing the boards, but they all kind of went at the same time. So then I kind of waited and then went. For both uh, Ali and Zaya, um, you guys have had comfortable margins most of this run since the loss to Indiana. I guess what can a game like this do for you, knowing that you have to dig in and pull things <clears throat> out down the stretch? Um, um, sorry. You can go. You can oh, go. I'm sorry. You can, no, I can go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, um, I'll just say, personally, I think we just need to go back to the drawing board. You know, there's a lot of things on defense that we could have cleaned up, especially because I feel like we're a defensive team. So I think we just got to go back to the drawing board, see what we can do better, because this probably won't be our last time seeing them. So just go back to the drawing board and, and see what we can do better to beat other teams. No, kind of going off that, Aaliyah, when you're down nine in the fourth, What's the huddle like? What are you guys telling each other to make sure you get back into it and get a win? Um, we're really just encouraging each other and make sure we stay focused because we can't really get in our own heads because then that automatically takes us out of the game. So we're just saying, keep going, crash the boards, we're going to make big plays, and just we're just staying there for each other. Yeah. Aaliyah, um, nobody's really been able to get inside the paint as consistently as they did all year. Did you see one breakdown? Was it foul trouble? Or were they too quick? Just what was going on there that they could get in there so easily? Um, I think it was just the way that they um, penetrated with the ball. Um, I was there on some occasions, but I had I picked up a couple fouls early on, and they also have a really big post player that they could lob it to. So I was just trying to play um, equal sides. So. Yeah. yeah, for either of you guys, how did the physicality of this game compare to any ones you've played this season? Um, it, I think it was physical. Their guards were pretty big, and even though we have a big team, it really just – like it was kind of an equal game, I would say, and they did a great job of pressuring the ball. And post-wise, their bigs are big, mm -hmm. and they they just did a great job of staying in contact the whole time. I think they're, and I also think like their guards were very quick. Like I haven't played against guards that quick in a long time, so it's like that was the big thing for the guards, I think. Zaya, what was going through your head after collecting that steal and seeing the see on the win? Um. Well, the first thing I thought was, okay, let's catch the ball. <laughs> so when I caught it, I'm like, okay, I need to run away from her so she doesn't follow me so we can just end this now. Yeah. So that was the main thing for me. That's why I, like, ran away from her because I didn't want her to follow me. I just wanted it to be over with so yeah. we can win and be done with. So that was my. For either of you guys, obviously in the classroom, you guys are both <clears throat> freshmen. But being able to have a game like tonight, be able to have the, the atmosphere, Obviously, you guys have also played six other uh, or seven ranked teams before tonight, or six ranked teams before tonight. Where, where is the experience now with you guys uh, moving forward? I think um, it started, like the experience started with our out-of-conference out of schedule. We had some very um, good teams and some physical teams. So really, I think it did a great job preparing us for SEC play. And throughout our games here, it's just been very physical and it's been like consistent that way. Zaya, when during the summer when we asked Dawn to describe all of you guys, she said that you loved the bright lights and you would get, you'd play your best games when the crowd was the biggest. Was tonight an example of us seeing that? Yes, sir. Like I love, I love the crowd. Like, I, she's right. I do play my best games when it's a crowd because I just feel loved. Like I love when it's a lot of people around. And I know they're supporting me and, and the team. So just seeing that, it felt like a dream. Like to see all those people in the crowd. How much of a steadying influence is Ty out there for you guys and the, mm. the game she had tonight while getting the ball where it needed to be in a lot of places too? I, honestly, I think Ty is like a, a – she's a good role model for everybody. Like, she can help anybody. It does, you don't have to be a guard or a post. She can help us all as one. Um, I think she does a good job of just leading us. You know, we look at her when times are hard. We can just look at her, and she keeps us going. So to see her – She's like the leader, so seeing her ready to go, it just helped us get ready to go. And when she hit that big shot, we knew that we had to continue to go, go with her. Anything else for student athletes? Thank you, ladies.
Thanks, Thank you. Too.